Welcome back to the Navy Sports Magazine. Time to catch up on some spring football with Tyler Sales. And for you and the other defensive linemen, competition in the springtime. How do you ratchet up that intensity, even though it's spring, because you know that's what the coaches are looking for from you guys out there? So competition is huge in our room, and especially with, with a couple re returning guys who have a good amount of experience, like Josh Webb and Bill Lobos being out, that really leaves it wide open for the two and three spots for the young guys to compete. And there's been such a huge competition. I mean, every day we got the little magnet name tapes in there. Every day it's just sliding up and down. Things are changing. Is that something when you, when you go in the room, do you, do you kind of just peek up there just to see where your name is at? <laughs> oh, yeah. You can you can see it. I, I try to get in there early and watch a little film before meetings. And I see all the guys come in, though. <laughs> check the board before they sit down. Obviously, for, for you, uh, an opportunity to replace uh, a great football player and, mm -hmm. and get the full-time snaps if you earn it. Is there any, any pressure to follow an Amos Mason, or do you look at it now as, you know, I've got to listen to what the coaches are telling me so I can have the opportunity to win this position right now? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm certainly trying to keep my head down, hard, work hard, and, and earn the position. I don't want it to be given to me. But, I mean, any time a guy like Amos leaves, there's going to be a huge shoes to fill. I, I really respect and look up to him. And it's good because he's going to TD. He'll be around. So I'll get the, the mentorship from him. He won't he won't be gone, and he can coach me up so I can try to play up to his level next year. At the same time, there's a lot of youth in that room. Mm -hmm. You're one of the older players in that room. Is there a sense of, of leadership that you have to grasp that if, you know, hey, that you see something out there, maybe you can – go down to, to the twos, the threes, and give those guys uh, some assistance there? I mean, you're absolutely right. There is a ton of youth in the room. It's just me, me and Fish are the only seniors in the right. room, which is, I mean, the least amount of seniors I, and we've had since I've been here. And it, it, it is a lot of pressure on us to help Coach Noah out with, with guiding the young guys, make sure their, their footwork's right, the fundamentals. Spring is a huge time where the young guys make the most improvement, especially that freshman to sophomore spring is, is huge in terms of development and just – learning our culture, which is being humble and working hard and as a defense flying to the ball. From the time you got here to, to where you all are as a team, you know, describe what that culture is like because when you came in here, you, you saw the paper, you knew the team was a winning program, mm -hmm. but to have now lived it and, and been a part of it, uh, what has impressed you the most about the, the culture and consistency of this football program? The thing that's impressed me the most is what guys are willing to do for each other. I mean, that's that's really the strength of this team is how we just go out there and play for each other. And guys are just willing to lay it all on the line for the for their brother next to them. I mean, my biggest fear last year, I, I, I played like sparingly, but whenever I was on the field, my biggest fear was l having any let up to where Amos and Jarvis were out and having any let, let down to my team. I was like, okay, I'm going to be in here for three or four or five snaps, however many plays I'll have to be. And I have to uphold that standard that's been set for me and make sure that it's not that I hope I do my part to make sure that my guys don't have to that my seniors don't lose. I mean, and it's just it's just tough watching the watching those guys in the locker room if we if we lose a game. I mean, especially for the seniors, that's why, like when I'm out there, that's my number one focus. I was going to say as a rising senior coming up in this football season, knowing that as each game goes by, there will be less and less snaps on the football field. Is there an even more of a, a burning desire to, mm -hmm. to make sure that you get that level of play as high as you possibly can uh, each and every time out there? Yes, sir, definitely. I mean, just today in meetings, Coach Noah said you have, to be your bit, you have to be your own biggest critic. And to reach that next level, I mean, I'm, every, every play I break down my, my steps, my technique, if, if I ran to the ball hard enough, if I could have done something better in the play. How much do, obviously, I know your coaches grade you all extremely hard. Mm -hmm. You know, there are games where to the fan watching the game, they may think you all have played a, a great football game. And I know behind the scenes what some of those grades are like, even in games uh, like that. How do you not take things personal in the grading system and know you come back on Monday and it's time to, to get better and, and to try uh, to get that level of play back up again? Well, I'm, I mean, the way you don't take it personal is you realize – they're, they're just as hard as every, on everybody in the room, and they're not singling anybody out. And especially Coach New, I know he has our best interest at heart. He would never – I mean, he's just trying to make us better as a D-line as a whole. He loves us. So we I take those grades, I, and I like that he grades us so hard because 
that gives that that really makes me take a hard look at myself and say and find out where I can get better. You guys have been a little bit more physical here in in the springtime. Mm -hmm. How's the competition been out there? <sighs> Going against our offenses. Isn't Especially it, your offensive fun. line, because yeah. you're going up against a really good offensive line yes. with, with your group. Yeah, th those guys come off the ball so hard, and when we're in full pads, you got to watch out for the, the cuts and, you, like, just going against that triple option. I mean, it is physical out there. No doubt about that. You had a chance. You could you could have gone elsewhere and played Division One football. Why why the Naval Academy? Um, I just, it was for the opportunity after, and really, I'm, I'm – uh, Wanting to capitalize on that now, I just I, I applied for early select subs, mm -hmm. so my interviews next Wednesday, and um, just having the opportunity to do something like that is really the reason I came here. I was going to say, you look back on it now, good decision. Yes, sir. All right, Tyler Sales joining us here. Best of luck with the rest of spring, and we'll see you during fall camp. Thank you. All right, Tyler Sales joining us here on the Navy Sports Magazine.